Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, something is happening with Copilot, which is kind of a downgrade, maybe. Uh, even though it always was kind of a web-type app, um, Copilot, of course, had its own panel. We had it on the right side for a while. It looked like its own little thing. We could search. We could do what we want. Uh, you know, just like when we use Edge and we click the Copilot key on the upper right, it kind of looked like its own thing, even though it's still web-related. But now, Copilot itself, the app that was introduced in Windows, when you click on it, if you look carefully, it says copilot.microsoft.com. It opens a web page. And it opens a Copilot web page, which is kind of weird. It still works. And, I mean, you can ask it to do things. Um... You know, it's like, um, can you create a picture of a sunset? And, you know, it, it, it will do things that will you'll want, but it just seems like now we're just on the web doing something rather than having something that's incorporated within Windows. You know, Cortana had its own thing. Cortana was an app. Cortana was part of Windows. It was its own app doing its own thing. And we don't feel that with Copilot anymore, where we used to feel it before. And actually, like I said, if you go in Edge and click the Copilot app, that feels more <laughs> Copilot-y than the Copilot link here that simply brings you to a web page. Uh, that is, of course, the kind of a chat GPD web page. So I don't know. It's I don't know what's happening with this. I thought the integration would go more into Windows, and now it seems it's getting out of Windows. Is Copilot being changed or phased out or something? Is what's what's happening? It's it's kind of weird. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.